All right, guys. Um, today is my fourth day with a fever. Um, I have done a COVID test, and uh, I did not test positive for COVID. So uh, I guess that means I can go fishing, which is what I'm doing. Uh, I feel like shit. I've been in the same clothes for three days now, which is pretty freaking gross. But um, yeah. We're going to High Rock today. Um, I had a late start at 7.45 right now. I'm stuck in traffic on 150. My lungs feel like they're at half capacity. I, I think I inhaled a cheesecake in my sleep. But uh, we're gonna go fishing. It's probably the best place for me just to be out in the sunshine. It'll feel good. And just to do what I love, it feels good. So uh, we're heading there now and uh, we will update you once we get to the ramp. Come to High Rock 4. Look at those light red eyes. Chunky, chunky little fella. Caught him off of an uh, old boat ramp. So I'm a spinnerbait. Well guys, it's 12.30, we're still here. I've only caught one fish. Uh, it was up shallow uh, on a spinnerbait, but uh, you know, aside from that, I have not uh, had many bites or really any. Um, I have not slowed down. I've been fishing moving baits pretty much the whole time, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and move out to some deeper areas and, and see what's going on. Cause I don't think the water, the water temperature is between 56 and 60. I don't think these fish are as far along as the water temperature would uh, make us believe, but uh, we're gonna check out again some deeper areas and see what happens.
crazy catching a fish that big on a worm that small. But that's how you do it. <sighs> Said I was gonna go out deep. I went out deep and look at that. Main lake fish. It's main creek channel anyway. Good fish though. GoPro stop recording. still on or not. If he is, he's not a big one. <laughs> Yay. So what would what would your game plan be right now? I tell you what mine will be and that is uh, fishing main lake brush piles, um, docks that I'm familiar with that have brush on them and also attacking kind of main lake uh, or areas that have wind on them that have boat ramps, particularly older boat ramps that might be heavily used so that the base of them is dug out. I'll be targeting those two pieces of structure on Sunday. Uh, it has not been fast and furious, but uh, there's definitely two creeks that I'm gonna focus my attention on. And, and uh, you know, the water's really low. It is dropping. It's It was uh, probably about a foot low when I got here. It's easily um, two feet low now. Uh, in fact, I came up river and literally, you know, hit some stuff and got a little scared and then decided I didn't want to bang up my gear for a tournament like this. So uh, we're going to turn back around, head back towards Second Creek and call it a day. Well, guys, if you've gotten this far, I commend you. Uh, certainly wasn't it that exciting of a practice. Uh, the excitement actually happened when I got back to the ramp. Now. Uh, the beauty of having a tandem trailer is that they are safer. If things happen, uh, sometimes you don't even notice. And in this case, that's exactly what happened. One of my vault hubs apparently had gone bad on the drive. Now I check them every time I drive. Uh, there was no oil, no anything to indicate that there was anything wrong with that vault hub. But um, when I got back to the ramp, I noticed something was off. And by off, I mean literally off. But take a look at this, guys. And uh, it turns out that apparently I lost a tire, the hub disintegrated, and in doing so, it uh, damaged the spindle on my axle. And anybody who has had that happen understands that when you have a spindle that's damaged, you do have to replace the axle. And right now it's looking like it's gonna be eight weeks before that gets repaired. Um, now, the company's gonna that makes the trailer is is going to try to expedite things to hopefully get me back out on the water sooner but uh you know bass fishing is expensive sport this is going to probably cost me close to two thousand bucks to fix uh once i replace that rim that tire and that axle uh and all said and done so uh i will not be in this tournament uh or was not in this tournament because we're now like two weeks after this all happened um which was a shame. So I understand that the bite was good. Uh, some guys did get on a shallow bite. They were uh, cranking shallow and, and throwing buzz bait shallow. Uh, I never threw top water, so that's on me. Uh, although I suspect that on the day that I was out there, just things were not as far along. You know, I had indicated when I was out on the water that I felt like uh, things were gonna progress over the course of the weekend, and, and, and indeed they did. So um, kudos to the guys that, that caught them out there. Uh, hopefully I will be able to join you uh, soon, but uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna be off the water and uh, You know, I imagine doing some housework around around the house and uh, taking care of my kids So until next time guys, I appreciate you all watching uh, Sorry about the bad news and, and hopefully we will get you guys updated and I'll be back on the water Providing you with video content in the not too distant future. So in the meantime guys stay safe tight lines. Enjoy yourselves